just kind of seemed to me that being in the world of pretend was better than being in the real world. From the moment Pamela Anderson revealed the dark sides of Hollywood and some other shocking exploitation in the industry, to the explosive Judy Landers confession, celebrities have long been in the business of showcasing one of the most alluring and thought-provoking moments in history on live TV. Join us as we look at 15 jaw-dropping and unforgettable moments of celebrities on live TV. Number 15. Madonna Louise Ciccone, Like a Virgin In the year 1984, the MTV Video Music Awards were about to witness a moment that would go down in history as one of the most iconic and controversial live performances ever. Madonna, the queen of pop, was poised to take the stage, and little did the audience know that they were in for an unforgettable ride. As the curtains drew back, there she stood, a vision in white. Madonna descended from a giant wedding cake, dressed in a wedding gown fit for a bride. But this was no ordinary wedding attire. The dress was as bold as it was traditional. With a veil flowing behind her and a belt that boldly proclaimed boy toy, Madonna had everyone's attention from the get-go. As the opening notes of Like a Virgin filled the arena, Madonna began her mesmerizing act. What followed was a series of moves that sent shockwaves through the audience, Rolling on the stage floor, writhing sensually and crawling on her hands and knees, Madonna was a whirlwind of provocative energy. Madonna wasn't just performing, she was challenging societal norms and expectations. Her use of the wedding gown and a weird belt became symbols of rebellion against traditional gender roles. In those few minutes, she redefined what it meant to be a pop icon, a feminist, and a cultural provocateur. The audience's reaction was a mix of gasps, cheers, and stunned silence. While some people were amazed by what they were witnessing, others were in awe of Madonna's courage. The performance sparked immediate controversy, dominating conversations and news headlines for days to come. It wasn't just a performance, it was a cultural earthquake. Madonna's MTV Video Music Awards performance was more than just a live act. It was a defining moment in pop culture history. It marked a turning point in her career, catapulting her into superstardom and solidifying her status as an artist unafraid to push boundaries. It also set the tone for future VMA moments where artists would strive to shock, surprise, and provoke. Decades later, Madonna's performance continues to influence and inspire. It's been referenced, parodied, and celebrated in countless ways. The daring defiance of societal norms, the bold fashion choices, and the unforgettable stage presence all remain as relevant and influential as ever. Number 14. Raquel Welch, a beauty of early television shows. Raquel Welch, often dubbed the beauty and phenomenon of early television, was a sensation like no other. She was more than just a pretty face. She was a trailblazer who left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In the mid-1960s, when television screens were still in black and white, Raquel Welch exploded onto the scene, captivating audiences with her stunning looks and undeniable charisma. She was more than a bombshell. She was a cultural force, and her appearances on live TV sealed her status as an icon. One of the most unforgettable moments that etched Raquel Welch into the collective memory of television viewers occurred during a guest appearance on The Merv Griffin Show in 1966. As she walked onto the stage, she was a vision of allure and sophistication. Dressed in a form-fitting, shimmering gold dress, she exuded confidence and charisma that transcended the screen. The audience was left in awe, and the television screen practically sizzled with her presence. But it wasn't just her looks that made Raquel Welch a phenomenon. She possessed a rare combination of talent, charm, and intelligence. During her appearance on The Merv Griffin Show, she engaged in witty banter with the host, showcasing her sharp sense of humor and infectious laughter. It was evident that she was not just a beauty. She was a captivating entertainer who could hold her own in any conversation. What truly set Raquel Welch apart from her contemporaries was her versatility. She wasn't limited to a single role or persona. She seamlessly transitioned from being a Hollywood sex symbol to a respected actress proving that she was more than just a pretty face. 
Her acting chops were on full display in the film Fantastic Voyage, where she played a pivotal role and earned critical acclaim. Another unforgettable moment in Raquel Welch's early television career was her appearance on The Hollywood Palace in 1966. Clad in a sparkling silver gown, she mesmerized the audience with a sultry dance performance. It was a moment that showcased her incredible stage presence and left viewers both enthralled and enchanted. Raquel Welch's rise to stardom was a testament to her talent and charisma, and her early television moments remained timeless. She was not just a beauty. She was a phenomenon who transcended the boundaries of Hollywood's expectations. Her impact on early television was not limited to her stunning looks, but extended to her undeniable talent, wit, and charm. Number 13. Janis Joplin's Final Bow. The last performance before tragedy struck. Now, let's take a trip back to the time of rock and roll rebellion and the unmistakable voice of Janis Joplin. So, in this tale, we approach the moment when Janis took her final bow, an indelible moment etched into the pages of music history. It was August 12, 1970, and Janis Joplin was set to perform at the Harvard Stadium in Boston, Massachusetts. The atmosphere crackled with anticipation as fans filled the stands, eager to witness the raw, soulful power of a woman who had become a symbol of counterculture and liberation. As she stepped onto that stage, Janice was a whirlwind of emotions and energy. Dressed in her signature bohemian style, with a cascade of feathers adorning her hair, she looked like a wild free spirit ready to set the world ablaze. The performance began, and from the first note, it was clear that Janice was in her element. Her voice, like a force of nature, soared through the stadium, piercing the hearts of every listener. She sang with a depth of emotion that few could match, channeling the pain and passion of a life well-lived. But it was a particular moment during that concert that would be forever etched in the memories of those who were fortunate enough to be there, and later, in the annals of live television history. Janice, during her set, unleashed a soul-stirring rendition of Ball and Chain. As she belted out the lyrics, her voice filled with anguish and longing, and the entire stadium fell into a trance. It was as if time had stopped and the world was hanging on every word and every note. Janice's performance was a raw emotional catharsis, an outpouring of her innermost struggles and triumphs. But little did the audience know that this would be her final bow, her last performance before tragedy struck. Janice Joplin, the woman who had given her all to music, would tragically pass away just a few weeks later, on October 4th, 1970. That night at Harvard Stadium was Janis Joplin's swan song, her indelible moment on live TV, and her farewell gift to a world that had both celebrated and misunderstood her. It was a performance that encapsulated the essence of Janis, raw, passionate, and unforgettable. As we look back on that night, we remember Janis Joplin not for her untimely end, but for the incredible gift she gave us in her music and for the indelible mark she left on the stage that final evening in Boston. Janice may have taken her final bow, but her legacy lives on in the timeless echoes of her soul-stirring performances. Number 12. Adrienne Barbeau, with a wild remark, when with Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show. Adrienne Barbeau's appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in 1974 was a defining moment in her career and a memorable episode of the iconic late-night talk show. At the time, Adrienne Barbeau was gaining recognition for her role as Carol Trainer on the hit TV series Maud. Her guest spot on The Tonight Show was a chance to showcase her talent and personality to a wider audience. During her appearance, Barbeau engaged in a delightful and humorous conversation with Johnny Carson. What set this interview apart was her candid discussion about her distinctive hourglass figure. She playfully addressed the challenges of finding the right wardrobe to accommodate her curvaceous physique, including the need for well-constructed bras. Her witty and self-deprecating humor endeared her to both the live audience and viewers at home, resulting in plenty of laughter throughout the segment. The chemistry between Adrienne Barbeau and Johnny Carson was palpable, making for a dynamic and entertaining interview. Barbeau's charisma shone through as she effortlessly navigated the conversation, endearing herself to both the host and the audience. 
This appearance on The Tonight Show not only solidified Adrienne Barbeau's status as a talented actress, but also showcased her ability to connect with people through humor and charm. This interview contributed to Barbeau's continued success in the entertainment industry and is a testament to her enduring appeal as a multifaceted performer. Number 11. The Twister Game with Zsa Zsa Gabor and Doris Day. With an average of 12 million Americans tuning in every night, The Tonight Show was one of the most watched TV shows of all time. This show has hosted several celebrities, and among those were Zsa Zsa Gabor and Doris Day. These two Hollywood legends, known for their glamour and poise, found themselves in an unexpected twist of fate on an iconic episode of the Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in the 1960s. This episode brought forth the beloved game of Twister, with its colorful mat adorned with circles, prompting players to contort their bodies into often amusing and precarious positions. What made this rendition of Twister truly exceptional was the spirited participation of Gabor and Day, whose magnetic charisma and captivating personalities transcended the confines of their glamorous Hollywood personas. As the game unfolded, the audience witnessed a delightful display of humor, shared laughter, and a heartwarming camaraderie between the two iconic actresses. It was a rare and delightful moment when Hollywood royalty willingly shed their elegant veneers to fully embrace the playful spirit of live television. This classic TV moment, featuring Zsa Zsa Gabor and Doris Day, stands as a testament to the versatility of these legendary actresses who not only excelled in their acting careers, but also displayed a willingness to step outside their usual roles to entertain their devoted fans. In essence, this TV moment serves as a reminder that even the most illustrious Hollywood stars were not afraid to let loose and have fun on live television, leaving an enduring mark on the hearts of viewers worldwide. Number 10. Donna Summer, switching from a singer to a comedian. In the sparkling domain of Hollywood, where aspirations shimmer beneath the starry spotlight, there's a defining moment that may reveal a star's road to fame. For Donna Summer, the explosive disco phenomenon, that moment occurred on a memorable evening in 1979, on The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. While on the show, Donna Summer found herself standing at the confluence of humility and ambition. She couldn't help but stumble as she recalled her youthful delight in watching Carson's show. It was a weird moment, blurring the borders between a youthful admirer and an established celebrity. Yet the night took an unexpected twist when Carson, famed for his biting wit, emphasized Donna Summer's exceptional gift, her knack for mending automobiles and understanding mechanics. In that same minute, Donna Summer claimed the limelight, not with fury, but with elegance and purpose. She turned the script, using Carson's statement as a catapult to push women globally to follow non-traditional pathways. The disco diva transcended her musical prominence to become an empowering personality. Donna Summer's attendance on The Tonight Show that night represented a key milestone in her career, solidifying her standing as a real star. It was a moment when the past melded perfectly with the present, converting an ordinary late-night talk into a powerful message of empowerment. Number 9. Joan Rivers and Elvira's Engaged in Dirty Talks Elvira, nicknamed Mistress of the Dark, is a legendary and emblematic character in the world of pop culture, known for her charming appearance and keen intellect. Created and portrayed by the talented Cassandra Peterson, Elvira first ascended to prominence in the early 1980s and soon became a cherished figure in the domains of horror, comedy, and television. At the core of Elvira's persona is her signature spooky and vampy style. She is often seen wearing a form-fitting, low-cut black dress, replete with a provocative neckline. Her jet black hair, dramatic makeup, and profoundly charming demeanor flawlessly embody the archetype of the vampire. It's a style that has become instantly recognizable and synonymous with the character. One of the hallmarks of Elvira's career was her involvement in horror-themed television shows, movies, and hosting duties. She hosted the iconic television show Elvira's Movie Macabre, where she introduced and provided commentary on B-grade horror films. 
Her humorous and often self-deprecating commentary added a unique twist to the horror genre. Elvira's popularity extends far beyond the small screen, yet the unexpected happened to Elvira in the early 1980s. It was a night when she graced the stage and made a majestic entrance onto The Tonight Show with her usual stunning black dress and iconic cleavage, having the audience captivated even before she uttered a word. As she settled into the guest chair, the atmosphere crackled with anticipation. But it was the irrepressible Joan Rivers, the queen of comedic candor, who couldn't resist commenting on Elvira's physique. With a sly grin and her trademark wit, Rivers openly admired Elvira's assets, causing a wave of laughter to ripple through the studio. Elvira, ever the good sport, played along with the banter, adding her cryptic humor to the mix. The exchange between the two women was a hilarious and unscripted moment that left the audience in stitches. This live TV encounter was more than just a brief interview. It was a collision of two distinct personalities. Elvira's mystique and Joan Rivers' irreverence combined to create a moment that would be etched in the annals of talk show history. Number 8. Pamela Anderson Fiercely Talked Down on Hollywood Pamela Anderson's fame skyrocketed thanks to her role in the hit TV series Baywatch, where she became an iconic figure known for her striking looks and red swimsuit. Beyond her acting career, she's also known for her philanthropic efforts and activism. One of the prominent issues that Pamela Anderson has consistently spoken about is the exploitation and mistreatment of women in the entertainment industry, particularly in Hollywood. She has highlighted the challenges that many actors and actresses face, especially early in their careers, when they may be subjected to unfair working conditions, objectification, and pressure to conform to industry standards. Anderson has been a vocal advocate for raising awareness about these issues, emphasizing the need for greater respect, consent, and empowerment within the entertainment world. She once pointed out the damaging effects of a culture that sometimes prioritizes profit and power over the well-being of individuals, particularly women. Throughout her career, Pamela Anderson has used her platform to shed light on these important topics, participating in interviews, writing articles, and supporting organizations that work to improve conditions and promote gender equality in Hollywood and beyond. Similarly, she has continued to share her personal stories of assault to back up her claims. Number 7. Harmony Corrine's Bizarre Interview with Letterman It's hard to pick just one interview between Letterman and experimental filmmaker Harmony Corrine, but their first chat is probably the most famous, and still one of the most bizarre promo segments in late-night history. From the minute Corrine walked on stage, puffing up his cheeks with an oh god here we go expression, it was clear they were headed for a cultural clash. Corrine brought a dose of bizarre humor to late night television when he appeared on Late Show with David Letterman in 1995. This wasn't your typical celebrity interview. It was a wild and unpredictable ride that left both the host and the audience bewildered. Corrine, known for his unconventional and often controversial films like Kids and Gummo, was in rare form that night. From the moment he stepped onto the stage, it was clear that this wouldn't be a run-of-the-mill chat about movies and career aspirations. Throughout the interview, Corrine's responses were cryptic, abstract, and at times downright absurd. He spoke in fragmented sentences, offered enigmatic anecdotes, and seemed to revel in the discomfort of the situation. His unconventional behavior had David Letterman, a seasoned host, struggling to maintain control. At one point, Corrine introduced the host to his gum-chewing friend who sat in the audience, a seemingly random and perplexing moment that added to the overall surreal atmosphere. The interview left viewers scratching their heads and speculating about what had just transpired. Was it a performance art piece? A deliberate attempt to subvert the traditional talk show format? or simply the eccentricity of an artist uninterested in conforming to societal norms. Regardless of the interpretation, Harmony Corrine's bizarre interview with David Letterman remains a legendary and enigmatic moment in the annals of late-night television. It was a collision of worlds where the unconventional met the mainstream, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of televised interviews. Number 6. 
Yvonne Craig appeared on The Merv Griffin Show in a Batgirl costume. Yvonne Craig, best known for her portrayal of Batgirl in the 1967 Batman television series, made a memorable appearance on The Merv Griffin Show in her iconic Batgirl costume. This appearance was a delightful surprise for fans of the classic Batman series and showcased the enduring popularity of the character. During her visit to Merv Griffin's show, Yvonne Craig donned the Batgirl costume, complete with the purple and yellow bat symbol and her trademark cowl. Her entrance in full superhero regalia brought cheers and applause from the audience, and it was a nostalgic moment for those who grew up watching the campy but beloved Batman series. In her interview with Merv Griffin, Yvonne Craig discussed her role as Batgirl, her experiences working on the show, and the impact of the character on fans, particularly young girls who looked up to her as a pioneering female superhero. Yvonne Craig's appearance on The Merv Griffin Show in her Batgirl costume remains a cherished memory for fans of the classic Batman series. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of the character and the cultural significance of the show in the history of television. Her presence in that iconic costume was a reminder that even decades later, Batgirl continued to inspire and captivate audiences. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. In an era where spontaneity reigned supreme, where the unscripted was celebrated and where the unforeseen was embraced, the early 60s television moments were akin to a high-wire act without a safety net. The genuine reactions, unrehearsed dialogues, and unfiltered emotions of celebrities illuminated screens across the nation. The reactions stirred by this image serve as a poignant reminder that the life of celebrities in the past was an entirely different realm. It was a world where fame and vulnerability coexisted, where the line between private and public blurred, and where each live appearance was an uncharted adventure into the unknown. As you gaze upon this image, we invite you to step into the shoes of those who lived in that era, to reflect on the courage it took to be unscripted and unrehearsed in a world where the spotlight was unrelenting. Can you identify the celebrity and the host of the show in this frame? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 5. Charlie Sheen on Various Talk Shows In 2011, Charlie Sheen unleashed a whirlwind of chaos and controversy that had everyone talking. His life became a real-life drama, and he took his wild antics to various talk shows, becoming a sensation in the process. It all started with his infamous winning catchphrase and a series of bizarre interviews. Sheen's appearance on ABC's Good Morning America was the spark that ignited his media frenzy. He ranted about tiger blood and Adonis DNA, leaving viewers bewildered and intrigued at the same time. It was a train wreck that you couldn't look away from, and it marked the beginning of his talk show tour. Next up was his memorable stop on NBC's Today Show. The host, Matt Lauer, grilled Sheen with tough questions about his erratic behavior and substance abuse. Sheen, however, remained defiant and unapologetic. He declared himself a warlock and continued to tout his winning streak, creating a surreal and often uncomfortable atmosphere. Sheen's antics didn't stop there. He made a grand entrance on The Howard Stern Show, where he continued to boast about his goddesses and his unique lifestyle. Stern, known for his no-holds-barred interviews, tried to dig deeper into Sheen's psyche. But it was clear that Sheen was on his planet. Perhaps one of the most bizarre moments was Sheen's violent torpedo of truth, Defeat is Not an Option tour, which took him to live stages across the country. Fans expected a wild ride, but the show was met with mixed reviews. Number 4. Crispin Glover Shows Off His Karate Kick Long before modern oddballs like Aubrey Plaza and Tracy Morgan captivated studio audiences with their wild demeanors, one eccentric celebrity shocked the late-night world with an unhinged interview and an infamous high kick. This kick came dangerously close to knocking the smirk off of David Letterman's face. On a fateful night in 1987, Back to the Future star Crispin Glover appeared on The Late Show with David Letterman wearing a long, flowing wig, six-inch platform boots, and pinstriped pants. Glover brought with him a suitcase full of newspaper clippings and an air of unpredictability as he stuttered and stammered through a rant about the media's portrayal of his off-kilter personality, which culminated in Glover challenging his host to an arm wrestling competition and, upon Letterman declining, delivering a historic high kick that missed the late-night legend's face by mere inches. 
After Glover swung his platform boot by Letterman's nose, the host walked off the set and sent the show to commercial. When he returned, Glover was gone. Afterward, speculations on the incident began. Many media outlets assumed that Glover had taken psychedelic drugs before his appearance on the show, while others later believed the stunt to have been planned by Glover as a very early in-character promotion of his 1991 film titled Reuben and Ed. Number 3. Judy Landers Confessed Her Crush on Johnny Carson In the heyday of the 80s, Judy Landers was a sizzling sensation on the silver screen. Her movies were hotter than hotcakes and audiences couldn't get enough of her captivating performances. She sizzled in comedies like Stewardess School, where laughter took flight, and in Dr. Alien, where sci-fi met hilarity. Judy Landers also added a touch of intrigue in the thriller Club Fed, making every scene pulse with excitement. But perhaps it was her appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson that truly set screens on fire. Beloved for her bubbly personality and her gorgeous looks, as Landers made her entrance to the show, she was greeted by audience thunderous applause. As Landers sat across from the legendary host Johnny Carson, the conversation started with a wild question from Carson. After this, Landers made a charming and unexpected confession to Johnny Carson. In a moment of genuine candor, Landers confessed that she had once had a crush on Carson when she was a young girl. The confession was met with laughter and applause from the audience, and Johnny Carson, known for his quick wit and affable demeanor, responded with humor. He playfully acknowledged the compliment, creating a light-hearted and heartwarming atmosphere. Number 2. Miley Cyrus Stage Flirtation with Robin Thicke the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards will forever be remembered as the night when Miley Cyrus took the stage and set the world abuzz with a performance that was both provocative and jaw-droppingly unexpected. Miley's twerking extravaganza, alongside singer Robin Thicke, was the talk of the town, and it catapulted her into the center of a swirling controversy. As the world watched in astonishment, Miley Cyrus, once known as Disney's Sweet Hannah Montana, made a bold declaration that she was all grown up. Dressed in a skimpy teddy bear-themed leotard, she confidently strutted across the stage and unleashed her twerking prowess in a way that left jaws on the floor. It was a stark departure from her wholesome image, and it had everyone talking. The performance reached its zenith when Robin Thicke joined Miley on stage for a rendition of his hit song, Blurred Lines. What followed was a collision of provocative dance moves and risque costumes that pushed the boundaries of live television. The aftermath of Miley's performance was a media firestorm. Opinions were divided, and debates raged about whether it was a bold expression of artistic freedom or an example of the industry's penchant for sensationalism. Miley was quick to address these issues as she joined Ellen's show in 2013 to discuss the brain behind her dance. According to her, it was all artistic moves and nothing more. Number 1. Jim Everett Attacks Jim Rome on Live Show On April 6, 1994, a significant chapter was etched in the Rams' off-field history, marked by a memorable moment involving National Football League quarterback Jim Everett and the then-young television and radio host Jim Rome. For years, Rome had relentlessly taunted Everett by derisively referring to him as Chris Everett, a derogatory nod to women's tennis star Chris Everett. This derogatory nickname stemmed from Everett's infamous phantom sack during the 1989 National Football Championship game, where he endured a brutal pounding as the Rams suffered a lopsided defeat to their rival, the 49 ERs. Rome's continual use of this offensive name was not only disrespectful to Jim Everett, but also to Chris Everett, and it had persisted for far too long. Nevertheless, Everett eventually agreed to appear on Rome's show, despite Rome's history of mocking him. However, during the show, Rome persisted in using the derogatory nickname, disregarding Everett's warnings, and what followed was a tragic turn of events. While Rome has always gotten away with this, it was the first time he ever used the name in the presence of Jim Everett. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.